Hey guys, welcome back, it's Melody, and today we're gonna to be talking about the things that I drink or eat all of the time. And the very first thing is water. I drink a lot of water because it helps me to consume a lot less sugar and a lot less junk food. So eating, drinking more water didn't really buoy my mood because I was drinking more water, but it does improve your face a little bit. But it, it wasn't that, it was that it was helping me to consume a lot less of the junk food, which is very important when it comes to mood and everything else. So you're eating too much carbohydrate hydrates or sugars, oftentimes your mood will just crash. It doesn't, it elevates it very quickly. So oftentimes when I'm very tired, I'll eat those foods a lot because I'm just trying to stay up. And so caffeine and all those things will elevate it quickly and then it might crash later. So I try to eat foods that will sustain the feeling. So after water, I do have two other drinks that I drink regularly. And the first one is Rubis. Rubis is a tea that does not have caffeine and it's very important to me that I don't drink too much caffeine because I will get a headache and that's specific to me. It has a vanilla, little, little tiny hint of citrus, but if you don't like citrus, you won't notice it. So Rubis is a really great tea. It's a red tea and it kind of replaces black teas and things like that. So I don't have to be drinking caffeinated tea. So it's an earthy vanilla healer tea. I don't know if teas are healing, but it's an earthy vanilla tea, okay, for you analytical left brain folks. <laughs> so the next one I have is this Celestial Camel Meal, and Celestial is a very affordable brand, and I've tried a lot of high-end Camel Meal brands, but I always go back to Celestial because the, the flavor is so delicate. And I'm sure it's because they're using a lot of things that I do not want to be eating in here. <laughs> but don't judge me. Let me have, let me have this, guys. Let me have this. <laughs> so this celestial tea is just so good. Oh, especially when I'm having cramps or something like that, or I'm having trouble sleeping. Chamomile tea is great. Pat will even drink it sometimes. Uh, don't tell me if she's gonna die about that because she's still she's still trucking. But this chamomile tea is really really great, and it helps with sore gums or anything like that if your baby is teething. There's a lot of uses for chamomile tea, so. If you're having any type of pain, can't sleep, you have a heart, a hole in your heart, count wheels there. The very next thing that I drink is this Almond Breeze Blue Diamond. And for some reason, when you're going green on things, it really matters the brand. Because let me just say, because we're gonna have a yogurt in this video and I must have tried 12 yogurt brands. It was that, it was that interesting. But for some reason, when you're drinking green brand or eating green brand things, it, the brand really matters. And that's if you're really persnickety like me. If you're one of those people, then you go to the restaurants, which we all know that person. They could go to the worst restaurant in the world and they would be saying, this is so good. It's like, you gotta have higher standards, man. I once went to a restaurant with a, co a business colleague and they literally forgot to grind the mustard seeds. It was mustard seeds for mustard. And he thought it was the greatest sandwich of all time. And you just know that that's one of those people that they can go to any restaurant and be satisfied, which if you're looking at the glass half full, you would say, well, they're a person that's very content with life. But if you're looking at it half empty, you're saying, please don't go on Google and review restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> this blue diamond almond breeze. Okay, I'm a very persnickety person, so thankfully you guys don't have to live with me, but when you're getting reviews, you know that I really put these things through the fire. Almond milk chocolate, which some of you guys have already tried because I talked about this on Facebook, is so good. It tastes better than chocolate milk. And the reason why I don't like to drink a lot of dairy is because I'm, I have a lot of Asian in me and it just usually doesn't go together very well and it causes migraines for me and my breathing is inhibited. It causes a lot of problems for me that I never realized. So sometimes it takes paying really close attention to the things that affect you to know if it's actually having an impact. So for me, I had to learn over time that dairy and caffeine really does actually affect me. If you're trying to get more nuts into your diet, that is the way. Next thing that I have is a snack and I really like this snack. It's sea salt premium roasted seaweed from Gimme. Gimme, that's not a very, that's a really funny brand name. But um, you don't have to get this brand name. I used to always eat this in Hawaii as a snack and so maybe old habits just die hard. But this sea, sea 
sea salt premium roasted seaweed is really good so don't be go getting those sea seaweed strips from for sushi rolls and just start chowing down because that is not the same thing as this this is very crunchy and dry the other one is very wet and you're gonna have a lot of time you're gonna have a time chewing on that other one but this one is so good i i must eat this about three times a week i love this and i keep it in the packaging it's one of the few things that i don't take out of the packaging and the very next thing that i always eat is unsweetened applesauce unsweetened applesauce is my favorite thing of all time because when you drink apple juice it has a lot of added sugar in most cases but this unsweetened applesauce blueberry oh so good so good so i that's i have to hurry up through this video because i want to eat one right now i want to eat one right now and plus my wet, my lettuce is wilting this applesauce is so good let me just keep this in my lap and the very next thing is this vegan ramen chicken flavor my sister is a full vegan so she when i tell her my favorite stuff she says oh my gosh that is the best stuff so that's how i know i've done my research because if she likes it she's tried it all so if she likes it i know it's gonna be good so this vegan ramen chicken flavor is really good it's really good you will not even be able to tell and if you get headaches from msg like i do then switch over guys so I have two different ramen that I use and one is a tofu but it tastes like beef it's a tofu but it's completely vegan and this is a chicken flavor which I love if you guys love ramen noodles you guys are Asian or from Hawaii or you guys just like trying new things come on you gotta try new things guys we're not getting any younger so the very next thing that I like is apples. Speaking of trying new things, have you ever tried an apple before? Well, Fuji apples are the best. I'm sorry, I've tried every brand, but I'm just a sucker for sweets because like I said, my parents gave me a lot of donuts and apple juice when I was a little kid. So I usually put peanut butter on there to dial back the sweet some. But peanut butter and apples is very good and in my dream life i eat a lot more hummus than i actually do eat in my real life but in my dream life i'm eating a lot more of this with veggies which i've cut down ahead of time when i cut down my lettuce in my dream life i'm eating a lot more hummus and veggies but you know i've got to i've got to accept who i am <laughs> And in my real life, I only eat it about once a week. But this, I also eat a lot of green smoothies. I actually have boosted my green smoothie intake and I feel a lot better when I do. So when I make more smoothies, whether it's berry smoothies, so I have, I have a berry smoothie, I have a coffee smoothie, which doesn't have real coffee in it, but it has coffee flavor. I have a coffee smoothie and I have a berry smoothie and I have a green smoothie. And sometimes I really like to use acai because acai, I used to, those were the best sellers when I worked at the smoothie shop, okay? I was doing all the analytics and I was looking at what everybody liked and everybody likes acai. Acai bowls and acai smoothies are the best. So if you see those little packets at Whole Foods or Costco, pick them up because you will be able to make good use out of them. And are you one of those people that when you're in a store and you see only one left, you think to yourself, oh my gosh, it has to be good. I always think like that. If I see, if I'm looking for a new yogurt brand and I'm looking at all the yogurts and I only see one left, I want to try the one where there is only one left. But you know what it probably is, is the guy just didn't stock that row recently. <laughs> so I'm thinking every, it's a hot seller, but that's probably not the truth. This lettuce, it's the placebo effect that sometimes counts. You know what I'm saying? So this lettuce is, this lettuce is, this lettuce is so good. This lettuce is not good. I do not like eating lettuce by itself. So I use this for salads too. I really like making salads and I just like putting little greens on my crackers with whatever I'm eating on them throughout the week. And my very last thing is my silk dairy-free yogurt alternative made with soy blueberry. And it's very important that you get this one in this flavor because the vanilla is not good. I tried a lot of brands of yogurt and there are some really disappointing ones guys. If you're trying to go dairy free so you can breathe easier, you got to stick to this because this thing is so good. This blueberry one is so good and it's more like a dessert just like the almond milk that I showed you guys, the chocolate milk. It's more like a dessert so I try not to eat too much of it because it does have added sugar in it. But among other things that I eat is chips of course. I have a lot of chips and salsa, chocolate chips and I also have regular junk food chips, dark chocolate Kit Kat although I try to stay away from too much chocolate because of caffeine and I also have donuts. Guys, I have a donut problem. 
I'm just gonna confess it, lay it all right on the table so you guys can know that I'm not just eating applesauces. <laughs> I have a donut and cookie problem, but my cookie problem has largely gone away since I've been eating apples with peanut butter in the morning, but my donut problem still remains, so. I hope you guys like this video on all these th new things to try. I'm not gonna put the donuts in this video because you guys don't need to be trying donuts. I put these in here because these are the snacks I recommend with a clear conscience. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, this is as good as it gets. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next Sunday.